The stick and stamp mat, there's three different main uses for it. The very first use is obviously you put it in your Misty. Mm -hmm. You can, it fits perfectly inside. You put your little magnet up here. You can, nothing moves, shifts. You can do six yep. by six stamps. You can do larger stamps. My favorite way to use it is for blending. What you can do is if you are blending, you have an A2 size piece of paper. On the mat, you have two different areas. So this is the inner, oh, thank you. Cool. This is the inner area. Um, so the matted area, and then this is the normal A2 size. But if you place a piece of paper here and you place a stencil on top of it, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen is you are going to get ink all over your mat. You don't want that. So what you do is you get your blending buddy, which is this guy here. So I will take this and you can see this lines up perfectly. Take your stencil, okay. put it right on top. I'm gonna <laughs> take a little bit of pixie tape and place this right on top. Okay. And then you grab your ink. We're gonna start with fruit punch. You just begin blending. And okay. then what I do is I will use our little pigment palette because I never want to tap off here because you lose all that ink. So you tap off here oh, okay. and you can pick your ink back up. And then we'll go to candy corn. So then you'll go in and you'll just continue blending. But again, tap off here because uh -huh. then you can pick your ink back up because as soon as you tap off on your paper, yep. you lose all that ink and you don't want to lose all that. And then once you're all done, you lift off your stencil. Your mat is perfectly clean every time. And you don't have to use like, there are folks that when they blend, they'll use like post-it tape around here yeah. and stuff like that. This will last you forever. And the great thing is, is if you have a larger piece of paper, it comes with the Blending Buddy insert piece. So if you have a larger piece of paper, you cover this up. And then if the paper is this size, you can do another stencil or you can do additional pieces. And that's for folks that do like scrapbook pages or do five by seven cards or six by six cards. The, the sky's the limit. And then to remove your paper, this is very important. Everybody rips their paper oh, the first time. Oh, you have to roll it. Yep. And when you roll it, it will release it naturally. This will not oh, hurt your mat. Great. This mat will survive within an inch of its yeah. life. So when you clean it, you take your mat mist. It can be any mat mist. Please, please, please make a promise to me, sign a contract, you will not use stamp cleaner on this mat. Especially no. Taylor stamp cleaner, because Taylor stamp cleaner is really, really, really good for stains, not really, really good for stick and stamp mat. So anything blue, you do not want to put onto this mat. And also this smells so good. They all so smell good. you put a little bit of this on here and you're gonna be a nervous wreck because it's not gonna be sticky anymore. And you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, I invested in this fantastic contraption and it's not sticky anymore. So you don't wanna use like a microfiber cloth. You don't wanna use anything that's like fabric. You can use this because this is, um, this doesn't have, it won't leave any of those fibers behind. So then all you do is you don't scrub. You, all you do is you just wipe. So you're just gonna do a couple of wipes down if it gets a little bit of ink on it or it gets a little bit stained, that's okay. We don't sell it with a frame for a reason. It needs to have a little bit of stuff so it looks like that you've actually used it. Um, but really, all you have to do is in that quick of time, I think that was what, 20 seconds, and it's sticky again.